Hey guys, welcome back to Unity Gurus. In this video, you'll learn how to make a simple triplanar shader in Shader Graph. You can use this shader in your isometric games to give your 3D objects a nice creative look without any texturing. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, I have already opened up Unity and I have also imported a 3D model which I created in Blender and I have also implemented the lightweight render pipeline. If you don't know how to implement lightweight render pipeline, please watch my previous video in which I have covered this topic in more detail. Okay, let's make our shader. To do that, right click, create, shader and choose this PBR graph. I call this simple triplanar. Before we start, I want to give you a logic behind the triplanar shader. As you can see right now, this object is also looking good. But the problem with this material is, when I change the color, it changes the color of all the sides of this object which we don't want. As you know, in isometric games, you can only see three sides of any object. So basically we want, we want a control to change the color of each side individually, so that we can give our objects a nice creative look we want. In that situation, we use triplanar shader. What triplanar shader actually does, that it projects three different color from th three different sides and gives us a control to change them individually. And we also don't need to texture our object. So that's why this triplanar shader is best for isometric games. So that's enough with the theory, let's go back to shader editor. So let's first create our top projection. To create the top projection, search for normal vector and in the space set it to word because we always want to project our color from the top side. Then create a vector 3 node. In this vector 3 nodes, we're gonna define our direction. If you look at this gizmo, the top direction is y. That's why in this vector 3 node, set the y value to 1. Then to multiply this node, search for dot product. To multiply vector values, we always use dot product. We cannot use multiply node to multiply this normal vector. It is a basic mathematics. Then simply connect the output of vector into B and output of this normal vector into A slot. Now our top projection is ready. We just need to multiply with our color. So let's quickly create a multiply node and also create a color. Then connect the output of this dot product into A slot and the output of this color to the B slot. For this top color, I choose a top green value. Then simply connect the output into the emission slot. Save this asset and see how this looks. To create a material from the shader, just right click, go to create and create new material. I call this body. Then simply apply this material to the body of this object. As you can see, nothing has changed. We just seeing a small green patch on the top of this object. Why this is happening? Well. If we turn off this direction light, we can see that now we are definitely getting green color on the top surface of every object. Then why this is happening? Let's go back to the shader graph. As you can see, in our master shader, the albedo color is assigned to some value. That's why the lighting is multiplying this value and making our object bright. To disable the lighting, just set this color to black and also set the smoothness to zero. And now you see our object is looking correct. Only the top surface is green and other surface are black, which is what we want in this case. Next, select this color and change convert to property so that we can change this later. I call this top color. Then select all the objects, right click and choose group selection. I call this top projection. Let's quickly copy these nodes and create projection for front and side directions. Select all the nodes and press Ctrl D and Ctrl D one more time. Rename this to side projection and change this to front projection. Also make two more properties for front and side color. I call this side color. I call this front color. Simply drag this property in this group node. Connect this to multiply node. Delete this one. Same for this top color. I change this to red and the front color I set this to blue. Let's quickly set the direction for these nodes as well. You see for the side direction we have to set x value and for the front direction we need to set the z value. So for the side set the x to 1 and y to 0 and for the front set the z to 1 or z to 1 and y to 0. Let's quickly plug the output of this side projection into the emission node. Click save asset and see how this looks. And you see that our side color is not looking correct. 
it is applying color on the wrong side and that is because we are looking through these sides and you, from this angle you can see that we are looking through the opposite side of this x angle so we need to set the x value to negative 1 so let's set to negative 1 and now our color is looking fine let's quickly test this front projection and our front projection is also looking fine and the next step is very simple we just need to add all three colors together to add these colors i'm going to use add node simply search for add and connect the output of this top projection and out output of this side projection then also need one more add node then connect the output of this front projection in the a slot or in the b slot and output of this add node into the a slot then finally connect the output into the emission slot save the assets and see how this looks and voila now our object is getting color from all three sides and we can also change the color of all three sides individually which is exactly what we want let me quickly make materials for other parts as well and you see now this object is getting shading from one color theme let's also make a copy of this object with a standard color shading for the color theme i already prepared a color chart so let me quickly apply color for all this object according to this chart and you can see our new color shade is, is definitely looking much better than this standard shading now our shade is almost ready however i also want to add a few more things first i want to add a hue controller so that i can change the hue of all three colors to do that let's go back to shader graph to change the hue of any color i simply use hue node what this hue node basically does let's create a color node if i plug this color node into the input of this hue node and change the color to for example something red and now if i move this slider on this x value you see the color is changing so i'm going to apply a hue node in between all this color node so that we can easily change their color let's duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and connect the output of this multiply into the input of hue slot and output in the add slot now i also want a property to change the offset value of all three hue nodes to do that click on this plus one and choose vector one i call this color variation then simply drag this color variation node into this main editor and connect this color variation into the offset of all three hue nodes so that we can change all this offset value from the one property and now you see that we have a color variation property and if i change this variation you can see that a hue of all three colors is changing which is very helpful to quickly change the color theme of our object one thing you will notice that our object is not casting any shadow and that is because we are using this color in the emission slot instead of diffuse slot so to get the shadows on this object we need to switch from emission to diffuse slot so let's go back to shader graph and connect the output into the albedo slot instead of emission and now you see even though our object is now casting shadows but it's looking same like this old diffuse shading which we don't want so to fix this problem what we can do is we can create a blend between emission and diffuse shading to create a blend between diffuse and emission shading i create a multiply node i also need a vector one node then create the output into the multiply a slot and output of this vector one into the b slot and connect into the albedo and connect the output of all this color into the emission slot and in the vector one change the value to 0.5 because if we only want to add the 50 percent of this color into the albedo shading and you see now we are getting shadows on our object even though the, our object is looking very bright we definitely need to reduce the intensity of light okay and now it's looking better you can also apply the same type in a shader on this ground plane object as well it's up to you whether you want to get shadows or not we can also create a checkbox to enable or disable shadow for our object to create a checkbox first i need a boolean i call this activate shadows and set the default value to false then drag this activate shadow into our main editor and here i'm going to use a branch node to create a checkbox then connect the output of the activate shadows into this predicate node and the output of this multiply into the true slot and then connect the output into the albedo shading so now you see that this multiply node is connected into this true which basically means if we set our boolean to true this will allow this node to pass and if we set this to false then it will block this node and now you see we have a checkbox called activate shadows 
if you select all these three materials and if i enable this one you see now we are getting shadows and if i disable this one we are now back to only emission shading if you are using the shadow parameter you definitely need to decrease the color values because now we are also getting some color from diffuse shading as well for now i set the shadows to off and set the direction light to one i like it this way so that's enough for this video if you want more videos about shaded graph please subscribe the channel to get the notification first you can also join my discord server where you can also meet with other peoples and once again i would like to thank spark hannah sinconan and peter listek for their continuous patreon support see you in another shaded graph video peace out namaste